you're starting a relationship and there's just this level of intensity to the relationship, that could be a red flag. I'm not saying that all intense relationship will turn into abusive relationships, but that's how it starts. So I'm showing you that I love you and you are the best thing that happened in this world just before I start to isolate you. So I want you to spend more time with me because you're supposed to love me. You're supposed to want to kind of phone with me. You're supposed to want to talk to me. You're supposed to be checking in on me or checking in with me about your whereabouts. Um, and then guilting you into um, you should spend time with me and not with your friends. You know, we're in this relationship together now. It's about us. And so that lets you start to cancel engagements with your friends, with your family. He starts yelling at her. Um, breathing up in her face, talking down to her, and then he apologizes. You know what? Um, I didn't mean to. It's because of my trauma. You know, they blame all these other things um, for the root cause of their relationship. It's not about you. It's, it's what I've been through. And that puts the person in a situation where they feel like, I am the strong person who has to keep my dysfunctional partner grounded. So they find a sense of purpose in that relationship yeah. because I have to help him or her fight her demons.